हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ लेट्स डू आवर फेदर स्टेप्स आई होप यू रिमेंबर इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी कॉन्फ़िगर व्हाट वी कॉन्फ़िगर जस्ट वी लर्न हाउ वी कैन एक्सेस द स्विच व्हेन योर मैनेजर और योर कस्टमर गिव यू द ब्रांड न्यू स्विच हाउ वी कैन कॉन्फ़िगर और हाउ वी कैन डू द बेसिक सेटअप हाउ वी कैन यूज द कंसोल केबल वाट सॉफ्टवेयर वी आर यूजिंग टू कनेक्ट आवर स्विच वी लर्न इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास आई टोल्ड दैट इन रियल सीनैरियो आई विल यूज द पुटी सॉफ्टवेयर ओके but here directly we can take so i am uh, in the same place okay if you are confused let me repeat again see here this is our brand new switch if you did not watch our video the previous video or uh, you can watch if you did not attend our previous uh, live batch class yeah uh, uh, you can get the video in our portal you can watch that video okay in that one i told what is a switch and from where i can take the console cable all that one so now we will continue so see here this is our laptop and uh, i will click this laptop then we will click the terminal so we have default setting we will click okay so when we will click okay we will able to access the switch okay this is a brand new switch in real scenario we will use the putty software so in this brand new switch if you want to change the configuration maybe your manager will tell you can you take this switch and do the basic configuration maybe he want you to do the what i can say change the name of the switch okay he want you to change the name of the switch so when you log in first time you have this uh, mode this mode is known as user mode here we cannot run more commands you can use only the show command here to just check the configuration this one is known as user mode so what you will do if you want to change example your manager told change this switch one uh, switch uh, name as a sw1 okay your manager told you that uh, can you change this switch name into sw1 so how we can change now we are going to learn that one so what i will do here first i am in the user mode so i cannot do i need to go to the privilege mode so i will write en enable to go in the privilege mode after going in privilege mode also i cannot do the configuration if i want to do any configuration i need to go in the global configuration mode so how i can go in the global configuration mode i will write config t when i write config t i go in the global configuration mode now i am inside the global configuration mode i can do the configuration so now you need to change the name of the switch as per your manager request you need to change the name of the switch if you see here what name is appearing here here you can see this all this is a switch okay you need to change this as a sw1 so now we are going to learn how we can change that one so what i will do i will write here host name okay sw1 if you see here with the command host name if i write the command host name this change okay what i can say when i write the host name and whatever name i give that name change the switch change to that name so with this command we can change the name of the switch okay if you are having the issue i will uh, copy paste this configuration in the notepad so later you can revise also and if you see this one i will copy this i will put here okay let me put here here in the notepad because i know that you are beginner you are a fresher so what i done generally first i do enable then i go in the config t then the we change as a host name okay this one we done right here this one if you are having still confusion i will copy the same thing let me write here here okay so what i done this is a brand new switch i go in the this is a user mode i wrote en to go in the privilege mode when i go inside the privilege mode i wrote the config t so i go inside the configuration mode and then i write host name as the blue one so with this command i change the name of the switch okay i change name of the switch after that if you want to do any configuration you can do here no issue if example your manager told you that create a user create one local user so how we can create we will write here username okay username whatever name example i will give admin and then give his space and write the password and admin so this way we will create the user in the switch if you want to create the user in the switch that is local user we can use this command to create that one let me copy this and put here so later you can revise that also 
okay with this command we create the user no doubts right we create the user and also if you see here let me write here exit <coughs> and i will write here disable uh, by mistake i type uh, spelling mistake so it will take this time because they are translating this name into domain so we need to wait or in the packet tracer if you don't want to wait you uh, don't want to wait then you can press this fast forward if you press this fast forward then that uh, will be okay but in real scenario you need to wait okay if i write here also exit now i am in the user mode again if i write en i am able to go but if i want to put the password imagine your manager told you that put the password so no one can log in without password no one can go in the enable mode so how we can put the password same thing first we need to go to the global configuration mode then i will write enable enable i need to write secure okay enable secure password you can write enable password also if you write here enable and press question mark you will see here what you are getting here you are getting that after writing enable you have two option you can write the password or you can write the secret so what is the difference between them here assigning the privilege level password assigning the privilege privilege level secret so if you write the password and give the password that will be visible if you write show run when you are checking the configuration it will be in the clear text if you write password if you write secret then it is in the different form it is encrypted no even if anyone see that one they cannot understand what is that one okay let me show you i will write password enable password i will give a b c okay i give this one and you want to check okay so i will write exit and then again i will write exit now i am in the user mode i need to go in the privilege mode this mode if you see this greater than symbol this greater than symbol we are calling this is a privilege mode okay this is a privilege mode so if you write enable it is asking you password because just now we put the password if you remember here we told if anyone is going to privilege mode whenever they are typing the enable they should be asked by the password okay so it should ask the password so it is asking me the password i will write a b c i am able to log in imagine you want to check the configuration of the switch whatever i configure from the starting i need to look that one so how you can look first of all let me copy and paste this configuration also in the notepad okay i will put this also in the notepad so you can enable the password by using this one and also if you see what i can say here <coughs> if you want to check the configuration whatever present in the switch then you will write show run okay when you write show run it will show you all the configuration if you see here you can see that this uh, switch is having the password abc if anyone run show run com command they know that the what is the password of this one or maybe you maybe you are checking in uh, you are sitting somewhere and you are checking the password or you are writing the show run and you are reading the configuration someone from your back side they see this one so they know that oh okay th this guy keep the enable password for this switch as a abc when you are not there maybe they can play with this switch by putting this password abc and here if you see this is a username is admin password is a admin they can see and they can play with your router or switch so this one is a unencrypted it is not encrypted everyone can see that one okay so let me copy this command this command we are using to uh, check the configuration so i will write show run is used to uh, see the running configuration in the router or switch okay and then press okay 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 you will see all the configuration whatever we done to the switch okay now example i want to do the another configuration i want to put the password as a secret so i will write config t i will write here uh first of all let me try this enable password i wrote right abc let me see okay no issue i will uh, later i will show you all that one but now i need to enable secret password okay so i will write enable secret i can give abc1 okay enable secret abc1 i wrote i use here secret before we use password if you see here 
before we use the password so it is not encrypted now i use the secret so now if you see i press control z to exit that mode then i write show run if you see show run when i write here this one this is a encrypted password if anyone see they will not remember dollar one dollar m small m capital e r like this they will be confused okay so this is the password encrypted way now if you press enter 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 you can see all configuration and also here if i exit now i will press enable then they will ask me the password so password i give abc1 right so now i am able to go inside so this way we will assign the password and also we will rename the uh, switch name okay here what we learn we learn here what we learn here if you see we learn here how we can enable the password and how we can check the configuration how we can change the switch name and let me paste this configuration here this one okay so i will copy this i will paste this here okay so with this one we are enabling the secret password what else we can do here now in this class we learn some basic stuff in our next class we are going to look how we can configure the telnet how we can configure the ssh okay so see you thank you